What's up, Bremerton? Josh Farley with the Kitsap Sun out on Wilbert Avenue at the youngest entrepreneur in all of Bremerton's lemonade stand. Riley, how many stories do we have for people today? Five! That five stories that you just got to know about happening in Bremerton this week. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theatre. Story number one today, Riley Delaney may be the youngest entrepreneur in all of Bremerton. The four-year-old has started a lemonade stand that's proving to be quite popular in this area of Forest Ridge Park. He often begins at about noon near the SureClean car wash, not far off Kitsap Way, and then he drives his Power Wheels truck around the neighborhood, delivering lemonade and iced tea. First we gotta put the syrup in the iced cup, and then we put this in it. He's absolutely the most tenacious like four-year-old that you'll ever meet and he has a goal for everything he is definitely going to be an entrepreneur of the the best and the, the best in 20 years 30 years we got sun tea regular and pink one of the little YouTube video blogs that he'd like to watch the, the little kid had a lemonade stand so he's like hey I want to try that he made a brand for himself now he's got people that he delivers to about on the, around the corner here on the nearby streets they all know him as a lemonade guy he's definitely he's doing it I'm really proud of him. Story number two, are you a fan of Cajun cooking? If so, I would highly recommend you check out a new restaurant that's just opened on Callow Avenue. And it specializes in the best of Louisiana down-home Creole cooking. We are standing in my new baby, Kiana's Cuisine de Lam. It means kitchen up the soul, and um, I cook with my soul, I cook with my love and I want everyone to feel the love when they come in. Cooking is a very big passion for me. My grandmother, she would cook, and she would cook a big, huge pot of gumbo, and our family would come from California, from Louisiana, from Texas, come and visit, and we would eat, and that's one of my favorite childhood memories of food. It brings people together, it warms your heart. We have um, entouffee. It's similar to gumbo. We also have the jambalaya. Most people know what jambalaya is, so they come in for it and they love it. It's with the red sauce because we're Creole. You have to eat gumbo. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. It's something that my grandmother cooked to bring us together. I think it's something that can bring the community here and together. It's not about me, it's about all of you. Story number three on the Beat Blast today. As you can see, we're out at Minder Farms off of Highway 303, gearing up for the second annual Farm Funk event. I'm with Jess Sappington, one of the organizers of Farm Funk. Jess, hello, welcome Hi. to the Beat Blast. Thanks. Um, what do we have to look forward to at this year's Farm Funk? We're bringing local music, local brews, and local food and farming together this year. Um, we've created two awesome scholarship funds to grow local musicians and local farmers. Um, so all the proceeds this year are going to go benefit those two scholarship funds. Right. Okay, cool. And the doors are at 1 o'clock. 2 p.m. is the start time. There will be music and a beer garden all night long to benefit those kids. Story number four. As many of you know, Danny Mills' automotive shop was destroyed by fire this past Thursday. The flames also spread to a nearby home. Sadly, a dog named Storm, a husky, was killed in that blaze, but thankfully everyone else got out and was physically okay. Mills will be repairing cars out of his home in the meantime. He still has a loyal customer following, and he hopes to reopen somewhere in Bremerton in the future. And finally, story number five, Blacktop is finally coming down on Lebo Boulevard. The street, which was constructed in the 1940s, is getting its first overhaul since that time. And thanks to $6 million from the city and the state, it is being reconstructed with much wider sidewalks, bike lanes, as well as a new roadbed, landscaping, and lighting. The project should be wrapped up by October. That's going to do it for this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. Stay cool this week. The smoke has returned from those devastating British Columbia wildfires, but hopefully by week's end it will again pass. And who knows, we may even get a little bit of rain here in this very dry and record-breaking August. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you again next week. Music for this week's Bremerton Beat Blast was provided by Matt and Amy's Basement Band. Matt and Amy will be performing at Farm Funk on Saturday at Minder Farms, just off Highway 303. All right, that's a keeper. <laughs>
All right, high five. Look buddy. at your Good job. Good job. Loving